Welcome back to volume two of overhauling the Ford C4 transmission. I've turned on my air supply, I've put my uh, uh, little vacuum hose on my blower, and we're going to start doing some air checks. You see these two large holes here, those are the pump in and out, and it's these smaller holes are the ones that we're going to deal with. We'll start with the forward clutch, that's this hole right here. All right. We'll enter some, put some air into it. Hear that thud? That's the forward clutch coming on. Okay. Now we'll go next. You see that it's a bolt hole for the um, valve body. And it's the next one right here. That's the direct clutch. Well, let's put some air into that one. Hear the thud from the piston on the direct clutch? Very good. We'll go over here to these holes. You'll see one on this side. That's the release side of the intermediate servo. This is the apply side, kind of elongated hole. So we'll put some air into that one. And see where the... See the servo go in and out? Okay, these two elongated holes here is the governor in and the governor out position. It's the governor out position is the one we want to introduce air into. Normally fluid is coming out that uh, passageway and by introducing air going in the opposite direction it will cause the valves to dither in the um, uh, governor. And by hearing the terrible noise you'll, just, you'll hear uh, lets me know that those valves are nice and free. So let's introduce some air into the out, uh, governor out passage. Okay, that obnoxious sound is letting me know that those valves are nice and free. Let's go over to this side and this is the low reverse uh, passageway going to the low reverse servo. So let's uh, introduce some air into that. And you can see the, the servo is moving and we know that that's in good shape there. <laughs> 